Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Scared of Minecraft. If you'll remember when we last left off, I had uh, just finally subdued this uh, dungeon here and now uh, gotten killed by <laughs> a zombie spawning in silliness. So, one of the things that somebody said to me, uh, just commenting on that video, was that it kind of looked like if I came up this way, I was pretty close to the surface. So I'm going to come up here and... Oh. Right. Yeah, see... I've tried to record this video before, and, um... Had a little bit more technical difficulty. So, yeah, a few things have happened that, um... Probably shouldn't have. Be because, um... I, I did them there, and, uh... Well, normally I would have just restored the save from before that and continued onward from there, but I apparently forgot to make a backup of that one. So what I've done instead is I went back and, uh, on Peaceful, although I'm, if I go back in there now, I am indeed on Hard now, but I went on Peaceful and undid most of the stuff that I'd done, at least to some extent. And, well, the first time I did it, I went up out there and, you know, got back to base just fine. But, uh, sort of as my apology to you for screwing up the recording and, you know, <laughs> breaking the illusion that this is seamless, I'm gonna go back the other way, and I I've left some darkness in here, and I also left the game running for a bit. So, um, there should be a fair number of monsters hiding back this way. <laughs> That's also why I have this block of dirt here, no, j just so that nothing could come up and kill me while I was waiting for things to spawn. So, yeah. I'm really kind of worried about how safe the area is here. Okay, nothing back here. Yeah. And of course, this is not being helped by the fact that I, as usual, am getting lost in my own, you know, explored cave sections. Uh, yeah. I think there was a dark branch up this way. And I also think I want to plug up that water so that it isn't pushing me inexorably ahead here. I know there are dark sections in here, I just don't remember where they are. Which is, you know, again, that's one of those things that's probably good. And I'm gonna be surprised when I run across them. Yeah, that looks dark. Come on, place a torch. There we go. Okay, it's not a big dark section. It apparently leads over to somewhere that I'd already lit. And I just heard that skeleton. And... yeah, I'm guessing that skeleton is down that way. Because it is looking incredibly dark that way. Of course, by sort of taking that shortcut, I now am even more lost than I would otherwise be. I sort of think I know where I am, but I'm really not sure of that. <laughs> and I hear a spider. I I'm thinking it's entirely likely that I'm probably going to die in this venture. And there was actually nothing here. Okay. Well, I was sort of hoping to get a little bit of action, at least. I was also sort of hoping not to be lagging out continuously. But, you know, I get what I get. Yeah, so, so if you also notice that my inventory isn't quite the same as it used to be, that that's the same reason as I... I didn't bother worrying about making sure my inventory matched. It 
I just got it, you know, reasonably close. Notably, I did not pick up the items that uh, I brought back from the dungeon again. Because, you know, th that seemed like kind of a foolish thing to do, so I decided I wouldn't. Yeah, I hear a spider around here somewhere. He may be up on the surface, actually. That's a possibility. So the uh, sort of good news about the lost recording is that it really wasn't one of my better ones, so it's no great loss. In fact, if I'd had the backup, I probably would have ended up re-recording it even without the technical issues, just because it wasn't very interesting. There were a couple good moments that I uh, may be able to extract and show you guys, but we'll see about that later. And if I do that, I'll just post it as a bonus video. Well, that was... um sort of depressing. I, I was really expecting to run into monsters on the way out there, but I guess the game just had mercy on me. I know, I know, that's a really weird idea with me. <laughs> Why on earth would the game be having mercy? Okay. So, yeah, th this gets us back up to the base here, so... It, it no longer matters that I didn't bother, you know, recollecting the chest items, because I made it back safely. And it's dark outside, and, oh, yeah. There's one of the things that I did leave in, is I, uh, spent a couple minutes and created a nice lava moat for myself. It, it's actually sort of a uh, three-layer moat, because I've got the lake out there forming the outer moat, the lava moat, and then one tile of water moat again, just on the inside. But, you know, they, that wasn't that exciting to build, so I, I didn't bother deconstructing it. And, you know, it, it should now <laughs> kill me at some point or another. So, anything I want to do inventory-wise here before I head back out? Uh, not that I can think of, so I'm pretty happy with this as a set of gear to go exploring with. I suppose I could stand to have some dirt, so that I can, uh... What the heck was that? It, it sort of sounded like the start of a creeper trying to explode. Maybe there was a creeper up there falling somewhere. In fact, it's entirely possible that that was the sound of three or four creepers falling, given, you know, how long it was, uh, running. So yeah, kind of come back down this way and uh, go explore one of those areas where we've heard noises before. And I know it's around here somewhere. Oh yeah, that's right, it was down this way a bit. I vaguely remember that. At least I think I remember oh, There it is, yeah. So yeah, I, I uh, didn't bother cooking this into smooth stone because, you know, I wanted to make sure I found the same things again. But, if we go back through here... I think this was just an offshoot where I, uh, was mining something. Probably coal. At least I think this was. Yeah, this looks more like a coal mine. Or does it? Um, hmm. Well, let, let's, uh, See, if it was coal, it should end pretty soon here. If not, it could go on for quite a ways. Oh, no, no, no. This is my uh, spiral staircase. The coal must have been somewhere else. So I'll come back to that staircase in a moment. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Here, here's one of the things I wanted to make sure I showed you guys. So I, uh come down in here, and apparently I missed removing a torch there. Sorry. 
But you'll, you'll notice this uh, lovely batch of water here. That if I very slowly swim through it, we'll be able to look out in there and see an area that's, in fact, already lit by torches. And the reason this area is already lit by torches is that if we come out here, we will ex actually recognize this place from before. Remember me saying that uh, if you understand how water works, you can sort of figure out something about the area behind it? Textbook example. That little nook and cranny back there was something that we would have found anyway if we'd come back and explored that water. Granted, it wasn't very big all on its own, so it's not that big a deal. Either way. And now, if we go back up this way... Uh, I think up that way was just some exploratory digging and maybe a uh, bit of coal or something like that, so I'm not going to bother going back up that way. Up here, however, I was following monster noises, and I'm kind of sad that I'm not hearing any this time around. We, we did see that I put it on hard, so there should actually be monsters here somewhere. Although the fact that I'm not hearing them is actually kind of making me worried that they might be creepers. Uh, yeah, I, in fact, did end up fighting a creeper on this spiral staircase, and that's one of those moments that I'd like to show you guys later if I have a chance to. Uh, monsters? Here, monsters? Where are you, monsters? And now we're having that same problem where I'm certain that when I do finally find a monster, it's going to completely surprise me and have a much better chance at killing me than usual. Huh. I I'm actually sort of starting to wonder if maybe I screwed up with uh, leaving it running and all of the uh, sort of space that's assigned for monsters to live in got assigned to stuff up on the surface so that there actually won't be anything down here. That would be really pretty sad. And there's nothing more up there. I keep seeing little glitches through the walls that, that make me think for half a second that I've gone on to a multiplayer server, because they look sort of like player names. Um, yeah. And again, in some ways, not finding the monsters is scarier, because, you know, you're sure that they're probably going to show up at any moment. This overlooks a little bit of darkness here. I'm gonna leave that alone for the moment, because nothing can actually get through it. 